Okay, hello, it's the Martian, Space Jam Jardins. I want this shit forever. Wake up and smell the garden. Fresher than the... <laughs> Everybody and welcome to a uh, kind of a brief setup video type of thing so I will be talking and then there's gonna be like random clips of my setup just because I don't have a second person to film me kind of explaining what I have and anyway so welcome to the setup video I know I've been probably meaning to post a video like this since I built the computer but I'm finally here doing it, so yay! As you can see, all my computer accessories are always gonna be Razer. I am a huge Razer fanboy and uh, I die by Razer. Like, I go by Razer, so I don't die by them. No, 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 no. For my headset, I do have the Kraken Chroma uh, 7.1s. They are really good. I've had them for, uh, I'd say like a year and a half, maybe two years. Haven't had any troubles with them whatsoever. It is a USB plug-in and uh, they've been very good to me. I would like to upgrade to the V2s, but uh, in all good time, why fix something that's not broken, right? As for the microphone, it is a newer microphone. Um, newer is the brand, it's not a newer microphone, <laughs> but uh, it's a cheapie from Amazon. It wasn't that bad. I think the microphone alone was 50 bucks or something like that. Came with the, uh, the PowerWatt Phantom something something something. Don't know the exact words for it. I do have a stand for it. Everything connected to the microphone and used by the microphone is from Amazon. Also the background lighting is from Amazon as well. And er everything is very cheap. It's not high quality obviously, but it does the job for now. For my monitors, I do have uh, two Acer. Uh, I think they're 24 inch or 23.5 inch. Uh, they both can do 10, 1080p. It's they are phenomenal monitors, and I couldn't ask for a better monitor without breaking the bank. The third monitor is an HP Pavilion. Uh, I think it's the 25 XI or something. The uh, XI, indeed. Uh, I think that one's a 25 to 27 inch, I do believe, or 26 inch. It is used for my console, as in my PS4 Pro. Um, it is a great gaming monitor and it displays in such good graphics. As for my fourth monitor, I do have a 24 inch uh, hair, uh, basically just a TV monitor from, from my GameCube when I want to play games. For the keyboard, I do have the Razer uh, Black Widow Clicky Keys version Chroma and uh, it's a very nice keyboard. I do like the clicky keys even though it's kind of noisy when people are trying to sleep right behind me. For the mouse pad, I do have the Razer uh, Chroma Firefly. It is a little bit priced for what it is, but it is a really cool mouse pad. It does glow colors, and uh, I, I know people are like, aren't you kind of overdoing it with the Firefly? Absolutely not. Um, I do believe in like a well, good performance gaming mat, and this one does the trick, and it literally glides like air. Like It's so nice, and it makes me perform a lot better than just a crummy old mouse pad. For the mouse, I do have the Razer Death Adder Chroma. Uh, <laughs> it is a great mouse. I I think my girlfriend got it for me for Christmas. She did her research and uh, she normally is one to do research and she said the Death Adder was one of the best ones and for personally for me it truly is. It's, it, it's well crafted to my hands. My hands are a little big um, and it fits my hands very well. It's a really reliable mouse and not too complicated. I am running the Razer capture card. I believe it's called the Ripsaw. Uh, it is a very good capture card. I did a little bit of research. Um, I did settle on the Razer, obviously, because it uh, it displays very well. It's easy to set up and easy to go along with, as well as easy to program. Uh, for my computer table, I just have a, it, it's just basically like an L-shaped glass black table, really nice. Uh, I know glass is kind of dirty and uh, not easy to clean, but it is a very nice looking desk. And I think I got it off of Kijiji, which is one of our websites that is kind of like a used buying area type, type of thing. 
bought it for like 220 and it, no sorry 120 and it was like a 400 dollar desk from ikea for my console i do have the ps4 pro which allows me to record and live stream in 1080p and it has the one terabyte hard drive if i'm not mistaken and uh, i think i got that from a deal from if you trade the old ps4 in you get that and i basically thought like I, I might as well like it's I'm not gonna buy like a brand new system just for all that price right so went with the PS4 Pro I do like streaming it and I got it hooked up to the Razer Ripsaw and connected it to my computer so everything I need to record is right here everything that I need to live stream is right here so if I do want to choose the game on PC I'll look this way if I need to game on play ES4 I'll go that way and probably a lot of you are asking what you have for a computer. Um, I got help building and finding parts for my PC online. A big thank you to my brother Sean and uh, my girlfriend's brother Josh for helping me build the computer. It was a very stressful area because uh, I spent a lot of money on it and I didn't want anything to break, especially the CPU when all those, those little, little pins can e easily break off. So uh, it got a little stressful at times, but for the computer, I'm going to start off with the 750 watt power supply. I'm not quite sure the branding, so don't quote me on any of this. I just have an Asus DVD drive along with one 120 millimeter fan and a liquid CPU cooling system for my CPU. The CPU I have is an i7-6700K series and uh, it does very well. It's a great CPU and again, it's probably outdated by now. but. For, for the time being, I just built it last Christmas, and it does me very well. Uh, for my graphics card, it is the GTX 1070, and it honestly performs very well. At the time, last Christmas, it was around like 600 bucks, um, and the 1080 was out as well, but that was a thousand, and I didn't really want to spend an extra $400 on just like the step up for a graphics card, so I just settled with the 1070, saved myself some money. For the motherboard, I do run the Asus Z170A. It is a fantastic motherboard, and when I was just preparing the computer, the the, the graphics on it were actually insane for what it was. Like it, it was very well. The motherboard runs smoothly, and I've had not a single problem with this PC yet. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. I did want 32, but I thought 32 would kind of be killing it. Plus, I don't really need 32. 16 is a perfect amount for anything you ever want to do and especially for editing since I do that a lot um, but I think 32 would have been like a safer bet but maybe that will be the future time. The PC also has a 2 terabyte hard drive along with the 525 gigabyte of SSD. I do have enough space for all types of videos and <laughs> to make lots more. For the webcam I run the Logitech HD 1080p. It is a very good webcam. I spent only like 90 bucks on it. It wasn't that bad. It was on sale at Best Buy so I just kind of picked it up and it's a lot better than the older one I had which was around like six years old. So it's definitely an upgrade. I do plan to change a few things in the future uh, just because quality I do need better quality I would like to upgrade my webcam but I just bought this so it won't be getting upgraded for a while um, one really important thing I do want to upgrade is the audio system um, the audio system is outdated I would like to move on to the Razer audio system I forget the name of it but uh, I think it's like the it starts with like an L um, and also I do want to upgrade the microphone which uh, hopefully will happen soon but I'm in school for right now so can't really do anything but if anyone wants to hit me up you do that will I be changing brands in the future for accessories um probably not I do like Razer they have such great quality gear um I would like to be sponsored by them in the near future just because they are a, a fantastic brand they are a fantastic company and they've been doing such a great job well guys I know this wasn't the typical setup video but if you guys did enjoy it make sure you smash that like button subscribe for daily new videos and live streams and uh, thank you guys so much for the support. I love y'all. Hopefully we'll build this community up bigger and bigger and the family a lot tighter. And I'll see you guys for the next daily video. Love y'all. See ya.